Hey guys, what's going on? Brian here for another uh, Blu-ray collection update video. Um, I have 97 titles that I want to go over. I tried to upload a video this morning. It wouldn't work, so I um, stopped it and redid it and it still wouldn't upload completely. So now I gotta just do the whole video over again, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So uh, I'm gonna just, if I have something to say about it, I will, but other than that, I'll just skim on through. So, first title here is a classic. Everyone should have it in their collection. This is a nine, uh, 1999 film from 20th Century Fox, and that is Office Space Classic. If you've never seen it, where have you been? Uh, up next is a film I have not watched yet, and that is Officer Down. Uh, this was... People were finding this at Dollar Tree, but I found this at a used bookstore a couple years back. So, got to check that out still. Uh, next is a Vinegar Syndrome title here. Um, uh, this was from 1981, and that is, uh, it's a thriller. Uh, I, forget what you're, I forget where they, um, where they filmed this. I forget. Uh, but it's, it's, it's a film called Olivia. I really like that uh, artwork on the on the slipcover there, and then we have the regular Blu-ray here. Uh, it's a decent watch if you guys are interested in. I, I recommend it. Um, Susanna Love stars in this along with um, the director uh, Uli Lomel. So if you guys want to check it out, I recommend it. Uh, this is a good one as well. I know it's got it's getting a re-release or it got a re-release. This is the Code Red release of One Dark Night with Adam West and Meg Tilly. Uh, written and directed by Tom McLaughlin, who uh, directed uh, Friday 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. This is an interesting movie. I have to, I gotta watch it again. It's been a while. Up next is a film from 2017, put out by Scream Factory and IFC Midnight. That is a film called Our House. This one I have not checked out yet, but it is about uh, these two kids. Uh, parents die in a car accident. Uh, well, no, I'm sorry. This one kid, his parents die in a car accident. He and his girlfriend... Um, have to take care of for his younger brother and sister and then they find some uh he wants to create an invention to um generate wireless electricity however he, he got more than what he bargained for when the device that awakens the dead souls that haunt the house so yeah it sounds it sounds cool but it doesn't get great reviews unfortunately uh, up next is a classic. Um, uh, no, it is, it is a movie. I thought it was like a mini series, but it's not. It's uh, uh, this is directed by uh, Francis Ford Coppola, and that is The Outsiders. Terrific cast. You got C. Thomas Howell, Matt Dillon, Diane Lane, Ralph Macchio, Rob Lowe, Patrick Swayze, Emilio Estevez, Tom Cruise, and Leif Garrett. So I definitely recommend that one. Up next is a classic from my childhood, and that is The Page Master here. Um, I, I enjoyed it when I was a kid. I just watched it recently, and it really brought back um, memories of growing up as a child. So I definitely, definitely recommend this one to share with your, your kids one day. Um... Next is a film series that certain, I know a lot of people like hate on, and I understand it's not the best, but that is the six movie collection of Paranormal Activity. You get all six films on separate discs. Now, I enjoyed parts one through three. Um, four, eh, it was okay. Five, I did not like. Uh, I just It just didn't make sense to me. And then part six, eh, I don't know. That's the one I've only seen once, so I gotta go back and watch that one again. 
But, you know, there's part seven is coming soon. Yay. Uh, up next is a fantastic comedy, sci-fi comedy. And that is Paul uh, with uh, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, and Seth Rogen does the voice of Paul. And you also get Jason Bateman, Kristen Wiig, Bill Hader, John Carroll Lynch, and Sigourney Weaver as well. That's uh, a terrific cast. It's hilarious. I definitely recommend it. Uh, up next is a Nicolas Cage movie. Um, it's not his best, but it's definitely not his worst. And this is from 2015, and that is uh, Pay the Ghost. Uh, it's basically, it takes place during Halloween. His kid disappears during a Halloween carnival. He's haunted by eerie messages and terrifying messages that he can't explain. With, together with his estranged wife, they have to unravel the mystery and find their son. It's, uh, it's a very interesting movie. I, again, I didn't hate it. This is put up by R.O.J.E. Well, now, now it's R.O.J.E. You know, back then it was just R.O.J. Uh, classic. A couple classics coming up here. So first up, we have the 4K Blu-ray Steelbook of the original Pet Cemetery. Sometimes Dead is better. Uh, haven't seen that remake yet. It's not really on the top of my list right now. This one should be on my list to watch, but I keep putting it off since I bought it like years ago. And that is the collector's edition of Phantom of the Paradise, put out by Scream Factory. Uh, I heard this is a fantastic, like, um, musical. Uh, I, I guess there's some sort of horror going on in here. But I definitely love that artwork on the disc. Well, they're both the same, but you can tell the difference between the two. But yeah, uh, Brian De Palma directed this. Uh, one of the best stoner comedies I've ever seen, and that is Pineapple Express. With Seth Rogen and James Franco. Also starring Gary Cole, Danny McBride, and Rosie Perez. This, this, is, <laughs> this is so funny. So funny. Sorry, I had to do it, guys. Uh, speaking of funny, here's a cool uh, movie I like to watch during Thanksgiving, and that is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles with John Candy and Steve Martin. Uh, this is a John Hughes film. Uh, it's just it's just super funny, and not everything that happens to Steve Martin throughout the film is just so funny. Uh, this one I have not seen. This is a uh, Bandit Motion Pictures release of Plank Face, signed by the director and the producer. I have not watched this yet, so I can't tell you if it's any good or not, but it's got Ellie Church in it, so there you go. And it's got reversible artwork too, which I thought was pretty, pretty uh, interesting. Yeah, so... There's that. I think I like I think I like this artwork a little bit more though. Alrighty, next up is a, another 80s slasher put out by Vinegar Syndrome. Not the best movie in the world, but I enjoyed it for what it was, and that is Pledge Night. Basically it's um like a supernatural movie, supernatural slasher mixed with Animal House, so it's like half Animal House, half Slasher. Not terrible. And it's got the singer from Anthrax in it, so that's pretty cool too. Uh, we got the original Point Break on Blu-ray here uh, with Patrick Swayze, Keanu Reeves, Gary Busey, Lori Petty. Uh, really enjoy this one. I never got around to watch the remake, and I have no interest in it, so. Very cool. Uh, this movie was uh, definitely 
uh, very cheesy and very gory at the same time. Very, it's a horror comedy. And it is getting a uh, sequel uh, pretty soon. I haven't really heard anything about it, but I'm, I'm patiently waiting just like everybody else. And that is the movie Pool Party Massacre. This is a, it's a real fun, uh, turn your brain off, uh, silly comedy. Uh, yeah, so if you guys want to watch something silly, stupid, watch Pool Party Massacre. Uh, we got a uh, classic here from the 1980, and that is the uh, Popeye with uh, Robin Williams and Shelley Duvall. Uh, directed by Robert Altman. Don't have to say much about it. I know it's like a musical. Uh, I haven't seen this in uh, probably since the late 80s when I was a kid. I don't think I ever watched it in the 90s, so. I think it's time for a rewatch. It's been like 20 plus years, so. All right. This one too, I think I watched this in the early 90s. I remember seeing it on TV. That is the original Poseidon Adventure with Gene Hackman. Roddy McDowell, Shelley Winters, Red Buttons, Ernest Fornine. All right, I remember really enjoying this as a child, so I don't know about now. Probably will still enjoy it. Up next, we have uh, The Possession with Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Kyra, Sed Kyra Sedgwick. I can never say her name. Why? I don't know. I have a few movies with her in it. Um, the first time I watched this, I didn't like it at all. But then it, the next second time I watched it, it was decent, so... It is PG-13, so that's kind of one of the reasons why I didn't care for it the first time I watched it, but it's grown on me, so. Alright. Uh, this one I have not watched yet, and I, I'm i glad to have it in the collection, though. I heard it's fantastic. From the son of uh, David Cronenberg, it is Brandon, Conan, uh, Brandon Cronenberg's Possessor. I have not watched that one yet. Uh, this one I have. This is probably my favorite uh, trauma film uh, ever. And if you've seen it, you probably understand. And if you haven't seen it, well, I recommend it. But it's not for everybody. And it is a horror musical, guys. And that is no, no other than uh, Poultry Geist, Night of the Chicken Dead. Yeah, so this is uh, this is a fantastic, funny uh, horror musical. So, yeah, definitely recommend this one, guys. Uh, directed by, of course, directed by Lloyd Kaufman. Uh, I forget who's in here though. I don't really recognize anyone by name, but by face, I'm sure. Uh, we have an 80s comedy here. Uh, it's one of those like romantic sex comedies from the 80s, and that is uh, Private School, uh, starring Phoebe Cates, Betsy Russell, Matthew Modine. Uh, who else is in here? Martin Mull, Sylvia Crystal. Soundtrack with uh, The Stray Cats, Vanity Six, Rick Springfield. So. Definitely should be on your uh, list for 80s, um, 80s comedies to watch. Uh, this, is, should be on, this should be on your guys' list for 90s comedies. And that is the original Problem Child with John Ritter, Michael Richards, uh, Gilbert Gottfried, and Jack Warden. Uh, this is a very fun movie. Uh, part 2 was good too. I have, I have not gotten that Blu-ray yet. I think it's pretty out of print now uh, you also get uh, Amy Yast back in here she was in the mask with Jim Carrey this is a fun watch though uh, this movie was crap but I'm a completist when it comes to horror films especially remakes uh, I've only seen this I saw it in the theater unfortunately and then I saw it one more time after that 
think I got this for a couple dollars, but it is the uh, Prom Night remake from 2008. Starring Brittany Snow, uh, Idris Elba, and Lyndon Ashby and James Ranson. So yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend that one. Uh, next up, we have the five film set of The Prophecy with Christopher Walken. Uh, he is only in the first three, though. He is not in the fourth or fifth. The fourth and fifth have Jason London in them. Part four also has Doug Bradley, and part five has Tony Todd. And this is this is the uh, this is the Miramax Lionsgate release, not the uh, not the. Uh, Mill Creek release, but this one, uh, this one's weird though because it has one, three, four, and five on one disc, and then part two on another, which is very strange. I don't, I don't understand it, but whatever. Uh, we have classic here, Pulp Fiction. Love Pulp Fiction. I've always loved it when since I watched it back in the. I didn't, I didn't watch it in 94, maybe like toward the end of the 90s I watched it, but definitely, definitely recommend this one. And uh, yeah, uh, Tarantino is a strange guy. Um, yeah, we'll just stick to that. Uh, we have, actually maybe I still be out of place here, but we'll fix that. Uh, we have Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich. I have not watched this one yet, but I do enjoy the Puppet Master's franchise. Uh, so I gotta fix this one. It's out of uh, out of order here, but we have Psychomania here, put out by Arrow. This is from 1972. Basically, about a living dead biker gang creating havoc on British roadways and making out in graveyards. Uh, so yeah, this is directed by Don Sharp. He is a uh, director of Hammer films such as Kiss of the Vampire and The Devil Ship Pirates. Uh, Co-stars uh, Beryl Reed from Dr. Fives Rises Again and George Sanders from Village of the Damned. It's got a boatload of special features on here too. Sorry for the glare, but it's uh, it's got the booklet inside, and then it's a Blu-ray DVD combo. Back when Arrow did that, uh, probably one of the only Q uh, titles I have. I have a few Q titles, but um, Quarantine. Basically, this is the Americanized version of Wreck. Uh, I do enjoy the Wreck films quite a bit. This one was pretty decent as well. Uh, I have not seen Quarantine 2, though. The one in, that takes place on an airplane. I have not seen that one. Okay, we've got the Rambo series, uh, 1 through 4, and then Part 5. Uh, here's an interesting in independent horror uh, thriller from where's this from uh, well, the, I think it's like the early 2000s but this was released in 2010 um, maybe this from 2010 I don't remember but it is a film called Raymond did it uh, it's a very it's very it's a very uh, interesting revenge thriller uh, basically um, this kid is accidentally killed on a playground scuffle. His friends blame the, uh, they say, a developmentally delayed uh, older brother for the murder. Uh, he's put away at a, st a state mental hospital, but he didn't do it. Breaks out and tries to get his revenge. And then it, it escalates from there. Um, I enjoyed this one quite a bit. It's very low budget, but it, it's very effective, so I recommend this one. Alright, next up we've got a classic here. Um, we got, this is the uh, really rare special edition of Reanimator. This is the uh, two disc limited edition set. 
Plus it comes with this limited edition, um, it says it's a comic book, but it's more like a graphic novel because it's pretty thick. So definitely happy to have this one. And I'm glad I bought it when it was $50. Now it goes for, like last time I looked it was like $300, maybe more, I don't know, but it's, it's really out of print and stupid money online. But I'm happy to have it in my collection. Uh, this is a Dollar Tree title I haven't got around to watching, and I probably won't ever get around to watching it. And that is uh, Recoil with Steve Austin and Danny Trejo, and Ser Serinda, Ser Serinda Swan, I guess I say that person's name. Uh, yeah, so probably won't get around to watching this one. I think it's just, just the Blu-ray. Yeah, no, no digital code in this one. Uh, we got next up, we have the Blu-ray that's getting re-released, but this is the original Blu-ray that I found for dirt cheap, but I know it, it went for quite a bit of money uh, earlier on, so now it's probably not worth anything now. And that is the relic here with Tom Sizemore and Penelope Ann Miller. Um, I enjoy this film. It is a late 90s like creature feature put out by Paramount. So, and Lionsgate. Definitely recommend this one if you haven't seen it before. Uh, okay, so story time. Well, not really story time, but... Um, I watched this because people said it was fantastic and I thought it was pretty damn predictable. I, I didn't say I hated it, but I, I just thought it was very predictable. And I wish we knew more of the backstory to uh, to this particular person right here, but we don't. Hopefully they make a sequel and add on to the story, at least I, I hope so. Maybe explain it a little bit more. I mean, this this movie does make you think when you stay at people's uh, rental houses or whatever to know that they're actually watching you your every move. But yeah, um, it was okay. Uh, next is a Criterion release here of a film that I have not watched yet, but I've had this one for years. And that is uh, Alex Cox's uh, Repo Man with Emilio Estevez and Harry Dean Stanton from 1984. This is a sci-fi comedy uh, about a Repo Man played by Harry Dean Stanton and a uh, punk rocker Emilio Estevez. Uh, the job becomes more more than either of them bargained for when they get involved in repossessing a mysterious and unworldly Chevy Malibu with a hefty reward attached to it. So, I heard it's not great, but I heard it's decent. But then again, I like punk rock and, and all that, so I might enjoy it more. Than others. Uh, we have the complete Resident Evil collection here. Uh, all six movies together. So, I've only seen maybe the first three, but I haven't watched the other three yet. Let me just grab this last stack out of here. It's easier for me. Uh, we have an H.P. Lovecraft uh, film here, directed by Dan O'Bannon from 1991, and that is The Resurrected, put out by Screen Factory. Definitely enjoyed this one. Uh, if you guys like H.P. Lovecraft, uh, or if you like Dan O'Bannon films, I would definitely recommend this one. Um... Chris, Chris Sarandon is great in here. So is uh, John Terry, James Sibbett. I believe James Sibbett was also in Friends. Um, yeah, she played uh, um, 
think she played uh, Ross's ex-wife in there, I believe. But yeah. Uh, speaking of Dan O'Banion, well, he didn't have anything to do with this one, but this is this is Return of the Living Dead three. Uh, one of my favorite entries in the series, um, directed by Brian Yosna, starring the ever so lovely Mindy Clark. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend this one. It's quite different than the, the first two in the series, but it's still really enjoyable. It just, you just follow, it keeps going where, um, the chemical trioxin just, you know, turns people into zombies and yeah, it's definitely highly, highly recommend that one. Speaking of recommending, recommending films, um, I haven't watched the whole thing yet, but I did enjoy what I saw, and that is the Rocket Man biopic of Elton John. Definitely enjoyed this more from what I've seen. Uh, next is a VCI release of a film from 1977, and that is Ruby. Uh, starring Piper Laurie. So I guess the synopsis is basically this girl, Ruby. She's 16, and then her mom, played by Piper Laurie, who was the mother in Carrie, uh, wants to send her away. Uh, Ruby is deaf and mute. Uh, she retaliates by calling up the spirit of her murdered father, and he exacts his revenge. So I guess... Someone, I think, I don't know if the mother killed him or whatever, but, yeah. Uh, so this is a love affair, so I guess some something went on and then the, the, the father died or whatever. But this is an, also an MVD release, and it's a Blu-ray DVD combo. I have not watched that one yet. Uh, here's a Christmas horror called Saint. I have not watched this one yet either. This is from 2010. This is put out by uh, E1. Another VCI release here of, an, of a film from 1977 as well. And that is the <laughs> lovely film called Satan's Cheerleaders. Funnier than the Omen, scarier than the silent movie. Shouldn't it be the other way around? <laughs> uh, satanic altar at the high school abodes ill will for the students. Bill, the janitor, decides he's had enough of the cheerleaders teasing. When he brings them to the altar, it's not the chapel of love. Starring uh, John Carradine, Yvonne Del Carlo, uh, John Ireland, and Jack Crucian. So, I, I do enjoy my 70s horror films. Uh, this is a film from 1982. Um, it says it's a comedy, but I think it's like a more of a dramedy, comedy drama. That is Savannah Smiles, put up by MVD. Basically, it's about this girl who thinks that her... Um, Her dad is too busy, uh, consumed with his uh, re-election campaign, so she decides to run away and she sneaks into a car driven by two escaped convicts. They have a bond. They try to hold her for ransom, and then they they become family. I don't. It's it's a kind of a weird synopsis, but I heard it's pretty good. And then last in this stack is. Uh, a film that I highly recommend from 1988, and that is uh, Scarecrows, put out by Scream Factory. This is an old MGM release. Uh, so after a band of ex-military criminals pull off a multi-million dollar heist, they hop aboard on a plane headed to Mexico. But when one of their own betrays them, they suddenly find themselves on the ground and on the run through a field of scarecrows near an abandoned farmhouse. And then the, scare, the scarecrows come alive and give them absolute hell. So 
definitely an interesting film. I definitely like the uh, the reverse art. Is like the or the original artwork from the VHS days. But if you like killer scarecrow movies, I definitely recommend this one. It's very weird. Uh, up next is something that everyone's probably seen or has in their collection, which I have seen this film that is Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. This is a great horror comedy, um, modern, well, 2015, but it's still modern. Uh, we have the Wild Eye releasing film, sorry, I said it, I'm sorry, uh, Scream Park with Doug Bradley and Nivek Ogre from Skinny Puppy. Uh, I remember uh, thinking this was, this is one of the better ones uh, from Wild Eye. So uh, it says it brings to mind Black Christmas and or John Carpenter's Halloween. No, definitely not. I would not recommend. I would not compare this to those films whatsoever. Uh, even like Funhouse, it's not really like that either. So, uh, well, kind of. It's kind of kind of like Funhouse, but Funhouse was a hell of a lot better. I'll tell you that. Uh, we have a a horror anthology here from 1979 called "Screams of a Winter's Night." Uh, this is rated PG for some reason. I don't know why, but probably at the time it was. Uh, deemed okay for for uh for um kids as long as their parents were watching it with them uh so i think there's there's only two stories in here no three stories uh, a couple of terrorized by a bigfoot like creature in the woods a group of fraternity brothers who spend the night in the abandoned hospital reputed to be haunted Third story concerns a young woman who begins to lose her grip on reality after experience an attempted rape. Uh, there's two different cuts on here too. Uh, the uncut 124 minute director's uh, cut and then the original theatrical cut which is 90 minutes. I have not watched either one so I will definitely watch this one soon. This is put out by Code Red. Uh, up next is a Romero film from 1972, and that is Season of the Witch, put out by Arrow Video. Uh, this is just a regular release. It does not have like a booklet or anything inside, so I waited too long to get that, to get that one. All right, we have uh, another Christmas uh, horror called Secret Santa. This one was uh, a horror comedy, put out. Directed by Adam Marcus, who directed Jason Goes to Hell. It was fun. I enjoyed it for what it was. Uh, we have a Seth MacFarlane's uh, cartoon series called Cavalcade of Cartoon Comedy. Uh, it's uh, 54 minutes, but it's, it's pretty funny. The little uh, cartoon shorts. Uh, this one I have not watched, but I heard it's fantastic, and it's got a great cast as well, and that is the 1977 release of The Sentinel, put out by Screen Factory. Uh, you got Chris Sarandon, John Carradine, uh, Jose Ferrer, Beverly D'Angelo, Jeff Goldblum, Tom Berenger, Christopher Walken. Uh, makeup effects by Dick Smith, who did The Exorcist, and directed by Michael Winner, who directed um, uh, Death Wish, and one of my personal favorites, uh, Scream for Help. So that was pretty good. Uh, we have The Shape of Water. I enjoyed this film for what it was. I know a lot of people didn't like the love story, but I thought it was kind of cute. Uh, classic here of Shawshank Redemption. Um, 
course, you have uh, uh, Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman, William Sadler, Gil Bellows, Clancy Brown. Of Clancy Brown, Clancy Brown. Uh, Wes Craven's Shocker. Love this film as well. Uh, 1989. It's about this guy, this uh, convict who um, he's a diabolical mass murderer uh, who harnesses electricity for unimaginable killing powers. They try to electrocute him, but then he transforms into an energy source, and it's just really bizarre. It was fun though. Uh, you got the Americanized version of Shudder here. Not great, but I got it for a couple of dollars back, like at Big Lots, like years ago. I got this at a Rite Aid before they went out of business, and that is a Silent House. Uh, I've seen this before, but I believe I fell asleep toward the end of the movie, so I gotta go back and watch it again. Alright, this is one of my favorite, um... Uh, Vinegar Syndrome releases uh, from uh, as of recent uh, Silent Madness 3D. Uh, he's out now. The terror has just begun. Definitely recommend this one if you haven't seen it yet. It's cheesy. It's funny. It's stupid at times, but I love it. Uh, we have Silent Night here. With Malcolm McDowell, Jamie King, Brendan Furr, Ellen Wong. Uh, it's another one of those fun, like, turn your brain off Christmas horror films. Uh, we got Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2, Garbage Day. Uh, Billy's dead, Ricky comes back, and his brother comes back and goes after Mother Superior. Uh, classic 90s film, Singles, directed by Cameron Crowe, starring uh, Bridget Fonda, Kiara Sedgwick, uh, Bill Pullman, Matt Dillon, music by Paul, Paul Westerberg, and you got other like 90s acts in here, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, and a boatload of other 90s bands. Uh, we have... Sinister 1 and 2. Love both of them. Well, first one's great. Second one, not so much. Uh, we got uh, Kate Hudson and the Skeleton Key. Also really good. I haven't seen this one in a long time, so gotta go back and watch it again. Uh, this one I have not watched yet, but I heard it's a really good show, and that is Slasher Season 1. Uh, this uh, Arrow release wasn't the greatest movie in the world. I do like the artwork, though. The Slayer. Love that artwork. And the killer is pretty pretty damn creepy. Uh, I'll show you. Look at, look at that. That's a face only a mom would love. <laughs> uh, again, it's not the greatest... Uh, uh, creature, slasher, whatever, but it's okay. Uh, we got a double feature here of Slime City and Slime City Massacre. I watched the first one. It's pretty gross. A lot of, uh, a lot of ooze. Lots and lots of slime. Speaking of gross, we have Slither. Love Slither. James Gunn, Michael Rooker, uh, Nathan Fillion, Elizabeth Banks. That's all. It's everything you want in a uh, parasite type movie. Same thing with this one, guys. Slugs, another parasite like slug movie. It's very slimy. And you gotta rhyme slimy with smiley. Smiley face killers. Um, so I would, I thought this would be great because it's the writer of American Psycho, Less Than Zero, and directed by, uh, the director of River's Edge. Well, it wasn't that great. 
I mean, you got you also have Crispin Glover in here too, but he doesn't speak at all. He's only in it for maybe like five, ten minutes tops. So yeah, not the not the best. Uh, we have uh, a, a black comedy, uh, So I Married an Axe Murderer. This is a great one. Mike Myers, Nancy Travis, Anthony LaPaglia, Amanda Plummer. Uh, I don't remember where I got this from, but I've had it for years. All right. We have Carpenter film, Someone's Watching Me, with Adrian Barbeau, Charles Cyphers, uh, Laura, Lauren Hutton. I haven't watched that one yet. Uh, we got Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball, in the Slime Ball Bolorama. I love this movie, it's the full moon release. Uh, with Linnea Quigley, Frank Stevens. Michelle McClellan. Really, really fun movie. Uh, we got uh, Sorority Row. Not my favorite slasher, but it's okay. And you got Lee Pipes, Rumor Willis, and Carrie Fisher. Uh, one of my favorite films from the, I think it's from the 70s. 70s I think you got Spider Baby uh, Jack Hill film with of course Sid Haig plays uh, I who he plays what his character's name in here is but yeah it's fantastic fantastic film uh, we got the original Spider-Man trilogy here I like one and two three not so much Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. I haven't watched this one yet, but I will. Uh, uh, Split. Still haven't watched this one yet either. Uh, Split Second with Hot Wrecker Hauer. Uh, Kim Cattrall, Alistair Duncan. Uh, this is basically, I heard it's like an alien ripoff. But I haven't watched this one yet either. Uh, we have, uh, it says, it's, it says don't say it, hiss it, so hiss, another um, snake movie from uh, 1973. I heard it's pretty good, but I have not watched this one yet. But it does have, uh, oh, it's also known as um, Snake snake but uh, I've always known it as uh, classic starship troopers of the killers big uh, killer bug movie it's like a throwback to the old killer bug movies of the 50s uh, we got Star Wars Rogue One And everyone's least favorite in the franchise, The Last Jedi. This is the Target exclusive. A little bit more to go and I'll be done, guys. Grab J card. Let me just grab the last stack here. That way I'm not taking any more time. Uh, we have... Stigmata from Scream Factory. Not everyone's favorite film, but I remember watching it back in 1999 when it was released. Uh, I enjoyed it. Patricia Arquette, Gabriel Byrne, Jonathan Price. It's a very weird film, but I enjoyed it. And this is out of print, by the way. Uh, we got Stir of Echoes with Kevin Bacon, classic late 90s film as well. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely recommend that one. 
Uh, we have another Christmas horror here called Stirring, a.k.a. Mrs. Claus. Uh, that was never released on Blu-ray. This is like a Indiegogo release because it's just a, it's a burn disc. It just says Stirring on the disc. Um, pretty, it's decent. I wouldn't say it's great, but it's decent. Uh, we have a pretty funny movie here called Strange Brew with Dave Thomas. Rick Moranis and Vax, Max Von Sido, uh, directed by Dave Thomas and Rick Moranis, classic Canadian film, hilarious. We have the original Straw Dogs with um, Dustin Hoffman. Uh, it's kind of brutal, it has its moments. Um, I have not seen the remake. Don't believe I even own the remake. Uh, here's a funny um, comedy with horror mixed in. Student Bodies from 1981. This is put out by uh, Olive Films. This is a this is a very funny like pre like scary movie type thing. Uh, I recommend it. Uh, some people might not like it because they they just don't understand the com the the comedy of it from the 80s. But I enjoyed it. Uh, of course, it's got to have super bad in the collection. I love McLovin. Uh, probably one of my favorite early 80s, um, uh, I guess, ghost witch movies. Uh, Superstition. Uh, this is part of my Scream Factory and Studio Canal. Uh, I know there is a part two of this, but it has never come to disc. At least I don't think it has. Uh, but I enjoy this one for what it was. It's got some really, like, gnarly, like, um, blood special effects in here. I know one kid gets decapitated. And, yeah, it's pretty gruesome. But, and here's the original artwork. I think I like that one better, though. Uh, double feature here of Tales from the Crypt and Vault of Horror. A classic double feature. Used to have the um, the DVD of it, but now I just have the Blu-ray. And this has this is a two disc set. Um, they're both on one disc, but disc two is the theatrical. Um, Kind of weird. So this one has the uncut version of Vault of Horror on it, and this one has the theatrical cut and the. Oh, so they're both 1.85 out of 1, but then there's one that's 1.33.1 open matte uncut version. I don't really understand what that means. But I've always I've always just watched this disc, not the other one. And then lastly, we have Tales from the Hood and Tales from the Hood Part 2. So anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I hope this uploads. Um, I'm getting kind of irritated with YouTube today, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully you guys take care. You enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.